featuring the Intel Pentium processor with MMX technology. Packard Bell, wouldn't you rather be at home? Packard Bell, desktop model A940-TWR, thrift store find, loaded to the gills. Two megabyte of EDO video. Built-in TV tuner. There we go. We got the real performance here. Windows 95, 1.6 gig hard drive. 133 megahertz Pentium processor. 28.8 modem and 16 megabytes of RAM. Apparently, I spent $20 on this. I'd say we power it up and see if it works. There's the television capture card. There's a modem to get online to do some banking. Well, I got to see if I can scrounge up my old PS2 keyboard and mouse. I'm not even sure if I still have that anymore or where it'd be. What a clunker. Much to my amazement, I found and still have some old school PS2 mouse and keyboard a little filthy but good enough for government work all right i'm gonna flip the breaker on this switch on the bar i'm gonna see what happens Ooh. oh it even comes with the disc oh That hard drive did not sound happy. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Try and reset. Yeah, hard drive sounds so old. Looks like it's just built-in motherboard video card is what it looks like to me. 
I mean, it's not posting anything, it don't look like. Wait a minute, that did something. Or did the monitor, no, the monitor shut off. Hey, well, that worked. Cool, all right, F1. We know things are not good. Ah, oh, there we go. All these ears and some of these BIOSes still look the same, don't they? 1990. <laughs> or if F10 is the... Hey, there she is. All right, baby, you can do it. Count that RAM. Escape to boot. Come on, hard drive. No, it ain't. <laughs> that sounds awful. Uh, is this microphone picking that up? I can't believe it's actually working. Someone's upgraded this to Windows 98. Came with 95. I really liked 98 back in the day for whatever reason. Probably because of 95. Oh. <laughs> I imagine it wasn't. I really hope that thing picks up the hard drive slamming. So you reckon this person just turned in their computer or got rid of it with all their stuff on it, I wonder? It wouldn't surprise me. Man, I almost need speakers. Whoa. Interesting. Hey, the mouse works. The nostalgia feelings, wow. Huh, Netscape. Amen. There's actual cup for Netscape here too. Oh man, I almost should go grab the tripod for this. I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. All right, got the tripod set up. What's up, Shane? <laughs> Is that what it says? No. Sh 
Shanara. Shanara, what's up? Shanara. Interesting. He would be more interesting if the person who owned this computer at one point or the this other, this person here ends up watching this video. Ooh, there's stuff in the trash can. What do we got going on in here? The hard drive is starting to sound a little better now. Well, let's see, they got Norton on here, huh? Ooh, gotta have America online. Sega, yeah. Efficient networks. Drug announcement. Birth, deaths, a uh, credit card number. Well, you don't. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, this might be the actual person's name. I might have to block this part out. Probably shouldn't put it that public here. This is like a school paper. You know, I could use this thing for Excel. You can put it in my tubes and stuff in here. Oh, that'd be cool. I can just use this thing. Well, this can even pick up a. Well, there ain't much in here. Oh, should we get on Windows Update? in that encyclopedia huh. let's see how much drive space is on this huh well operating system and everything on it's only 627 megabyte got plenty of free space 2.4 gig <laughs> Hey, we might have to run that tool here in a minute just because. All right, what do we got going on here? System information. Forty-eight mega RAM. Is that upgraded? I'd say so. It came with 16 megabyte of EDO. So if it's got 48 meg, it's been upgraded. It's not to the max though, which is 128. You know, this thing runs really good. It's almost like it had a fresh install and hard, has hardly anything on it. It's 
click on Netscape. Let's get online, you guys. Instant message. <laughs> Shut this all the way down and turn it back on and see that hard drive acts up. Oh. It was awfully quiet in here. That thing was loud. I'm really curious. Let's see if that hard drive. Yeah, it's not doing any of that weird noises yet. Oh, right. Let's just set something here. It's 1999, y'all. Right before, um, what was that, Y2K? <laughs> what? Oh, the freaking battery's probably, CMOS battery's probably toast. Yeah, the hard drive sounds perfectly normal now not excessively loud or it's not constantly like sound like it's crashing its park head that sounded awful I don't know what was up with that probably from sitting for so long I'm surprised it came back to life and that it didn't just completely just die I hope it got that that sounded awful Why not? Uh, you can't find your disk. We'll go with the standard I and F. You know, I'm kind of liking it. It's bringing back old school memories here. And it's got uh, Office on it. I can use it for um, the Excel and whatnot. I wonder how much power this old... What, is, what has this thing got in it? 133 megahertz? Ooh. That's a lot of power. <laughs> See if you can have a look under the hood, huh? I bet it's that right there, huh? Oh, look at that. The seal's been broken. Not sure which side's supposed to open first, but it looks like it's this side. Oh, that's not good. The hard drive is just flopping around in there. All right, oh, looks like that's a, is that a built-in speaker? It may have unplugged our front panel buttons. Bring you around so you can have a look inside here.
It looks like we may have, this is that noisy hard drive. It came out of its socket. Just unplug this. Look at the old school ribbon cables. Man, it feels like forever. Back in the day, you actually had to put jumpers on there if you wanted master slave, that kind of thing. Or cable select, if you see CS, cable select. I can't believe this thing came back to life. Oh, look at that. It's an advanced IDE hard drive. I might say that might be the case. It did still work. Well, there's our EDO. Look at those little always oh, got a kick out of these little EDO slots. There's four slots and they're all full. Can't see it. You probably can't see that. Let me get the phone off. Of There's the CPU. 133 megahertz. Yeah, I got to replace that, don't I? What is that? 2032? Well, I just might have a 2032 riser card. They got a pretty darn nice sound card in this thing. See that beautiful old EDO. Mostly dual sided. Where did this go? Oh, look at that. Went right here. This. So it went right here. The screws broke off. That was like that. Right in there. Well, that's a shame. Hmm. All right. Maybe I can drill that out. Get another screw in there. And a 2032. I'm going to get a drill bit and see if I got a battery for this thing. Look what I scrounged up. Actually, I had one. I'm going to drill that out and get that back in. I'll be right back. All right, the noisy drill out part is done. Where's that battery at? Oh, there it is. All right. There we go. New CMOS. I just got to get the hard drive back in here. Let's see, can I fit it in under that? There we are. And I got an extra screw. Hard drive is now secured. Get our ribbon cable hooked back up. There we are. Well, oh yeah, this thing. Second pin in, second pin in. Wait a minute, there's a jumper there. It, oh, I see. It's not that one, it's this one. The one with all the bent pins, because it got ripped out. 
by a flopsy hard drive. Front panel connection is complete. All right, well, clean this up. Ooh, that sound of that lovely hard drive. All right. F1. It never asked for a password before. What? Well, that's not good. Well, I'm going to poke around for a minute. I don't want to waste up the camera. Okay. Well, I got, I think I got lucky. Took the battery out and I was able to get back in um, to the BIOS. I changed, I went in and changed the password. I didn't think it would keep it and wasn't sure. Popped the new battery back in and rebooted it and I can get back in. So, I'll put the real date in here and see if it saves it. Something weird though, it's showing 24 instead of 48. Let's see if I can make sure I can get back into this BIOS here real quick. And so I'm not sure what happened there. All right, and I can get back in, so good. Man, I got lucky. Not sure what's up with that. I'm pretty sure I could swear I thought that was 48 earlier. Maybe I'm losing my mind. I'd have to go back in the video and see. But I'm pretty sure that was 48 I saw earlier. noisy but it's working lights are working now on the front hard drive light <laughs> that's awesome it's got to go with that awesome noise So let's see. I'm gonna shut it all the way down and see if I could turn it on, make sure the time and date error is gone and that we're not locked out here real quick. I forgot that you actually had to turn these things off back then. Okay. Let's see what happens. I like how the lights kind of dim when you turn this on. Hey, I wasn't losing my mind. There it is. Was that 
IRQ 284 or something. All right, perfect. She's all fixed up. Who do I send the bill to? Cranking, cranking that out. <laughs> I like this thing. I have to get the tuner to go next. Well, I think that's it for this one.